There are an abundance of tutorials and how-to articles and books out there on decluttering your home. Major universities have even done studies on the effects of clutter on our mental and physical health. But why does getting rid of the clutter matter? Why is decluttering important? Here's why decluttering your home matters. Our homes have a major effect on our well being. According to a 2009 UCLA study, women who see their homes as cluttered have an elevated level of the hormone cortisol, which can affect everything from our blood pressure to our weight to our skin and to our sleep. The study also showed that the more clutter people have in their homes, the more stressed they feel. Also according to this study, women relate how happy they are to the state of their home and how much they love their home. All that means is that clutter affects our hormones, our sleep, our moods, and how happy we are. When talking about decluttering our home, many experts talk about it from the point of minimalism. You know, getting rid of everything, living with as little as possible. I personally am not a minimalist, I kind of like my stuff, but I do believe that the more things that you have, the more work you will have to do to take care of them. Another way to look at it is that your stuff is like inventory. You have to take care of it, you have to clean it, you have to dust it, you have to clean around it. So the more stuff you have, the more work you will have to do. The more you reasonably simplify and declutter, keeping just the right amount of stuff for the way that you live your life, the less work you'll have to do. Here are five major reasons decluttering your home is important. One, you will have less visual clutter. I'm not a minimalist and I like my home to be cozy, but even I need some white space, some blank space, some pauses, some rests, where the space is not full of stuff. If you allow your home to visually breathe in this way, you will probably find that you literally are able to breathe easier too. Number two, you will have less to clean. I mean, if you have less stuff, it stands to reason that you'll have less to clean. You'll have less to clean around and cleaning will be much faster and simpler if your home isn't full of piles of clutter that are collecting dust and dirt. Only keep the things you love so much that cleaning and taking care of them is worth the joy that they bring you. Number three, you will spend less time organizing. Organizing has to come after decluttering. Otherwise, you are going to waste precious time and energy trying to organize things that shouldn't be organized. And decluttering cannot be replaced with more organizing or more decorating for that matter. Decluttering has to come first. Once you get rid of the things you don't need, organizing what you are keeping becomes so much simpler. Number four, your home will function so much Better. The point of decluttering is not to move things around and push one pile from here to there. The point of decluttering is to clear out space so that then you can organize and so that your home will function so much better. When you don't have too much clutter, you'll no longer waste time and money searching for or buying things that you cannot find because of all the clutter. Number five is that you will feel so much less stress. It's sort of a culmination of all the other four points. You'll have less to clean, less visual clutter, it'll be easier to organize and your home will function better. And all of those things combined together make it so that you have less stress. Decluttering our homes matter because how our homes look and function affects so much. It affects our hormones, our sleep levels, and how happy we are, which makes decluttering one of the most important things you can do for your personal and your family's well-being. If you liked this video and you want more ideas for how to create a more stylish and organized home you love, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss a video. Mm -hmm.